Hey guys, back with another plan with me. I am still planning in my Erin Condren Life Planner, although I will be filming a plan with me in my um, plum paper planner shortly, but right now I'm still working in my life planner. I put a new cover on. This is the Mary Everything cover. I really like it. It's silver foil and on the back there's like pretty, really pretty polka dots. Um, and then I have my silver keep it together band. I'm still using the Pilot G2 Limited. I switched out the barrel from my red to silver. I really like this one a lot. And my other go-to pen lately is the Le Pen Permanent. And I use this on my glossy stickers, or really on any stickers at all, um, because it's too thick to use on its own, but it's nice to use on sticker paper. And just to go over what last week looked like, this was Christmas week for us. Um, so the 21st through the 27th, it was kind of a crazy week, lots going on, lots of sticker usage, um, which is not usually how I plan, but I kind of have been liking it lately. It, it's I have so many stickers that it's nice to use up all of my stickers and, and not let anything go to waste. So I tried to cram as many stickers as I could into this layout and I think it ended up looking good. It's still Sunday so I haven't really planned much for this weekend yet, but this was Christmas week for us. We are switching over into January. I haven't done my monthly calendar. I, I really slack on that. It's something I need to work on, possibly part of my New Year's planner resolutions. We'll see. So this week I am planning from the 28th through the 3rd. It's New Year's Eve week for us. Um, we have absolutely nothing going on, which I love, especially after the craziness of Christmas. We really keep New Year's kind of low key and usually spend it at home. So the only thing we have going on is New Year's Eve. I'm gonna decorate and put some fun stuff in, but the only like big thing we have going on is New Year's. And the sticker kit I'm going to be working from is the Rory Sweet Addiction sticker kit. You guys know I have a love affair with her shop. Um, I just love everything she makes. And this is her New Year's kit, so obviously it'll go perfect for this week. And I think to match the gold on the sticker kits, I'm going to use these Sugar Paper LA um, washi tapes, were which were found in the gift section, like the gift wrapping section at Christmas time at Target. And it'll just kind of bring some of the gold in. First thing I'm going to do is lay my washi down. You guys were asking for details on this little tool. It's an Artist Loft palette knife, and I guess it's used for painting, um, but it gives a nice sharp edge, and it can tuck into places pretty quickly and easily. So I like it a lot, and I think it was like $3, and I used a 50% um, off coupon. So so, and it's found by the canvases at Michael's. I don't know if you can buy it online. I looked on Amazon when I was first looking for it. I didn't see it, but that was a couple weeks ago, so who knows if it's online now. Now that my washi tape is down, I'm going to use my weather stickers, which again are from Rory's Sweet Addiction. I have a coupon code below for her shop, as always, um, and I believe it saves you 20% off your order of $10 or more. And I, last week I started putting the weather in this little spot. And I've been liking it. It doesn't take up too much room, and I think it looks a little bit neater than when I put it up on the top. So I'm going to stick to using this little um, header up top to use for weather. I don't usually write anything in on my headers. In fact, I've been finding lately that I've been trying to cover it up, which is another reason why I think the plum paper planner might be a little bit more functional for me. Because <clears throat> I don't necessarily do things in morning, afternoon, and night. And I feel like this space takes up a lot of real estate just to break it up into morning, afternoon, and night when I already kind of know that vertically up top is morning, the middle is afternoon, and down the bottom is night. So in the beginning of my planning days, I found that really helpful. Not so much now. I still like vertical, but I would rather have it where I didn't have these headers. We are supposed to get an ice storm tomorrow, which sounds like a lot of fun. Um... Although, I really shouldn't complain because we have had like zero Christmas winter weather at all. Like it's been, I think last week it was 65 degrees, so I can't really complain when it finally starts acting like winter. My weather's all done, I'm gonna put my morning routine in. You guys know I typically only do my morning routine Monday through Friday because Saturday is just whatever kind of happens, happens. There's nothing specific that I need, you know, like I don't need to get it done on a specific time. And then I'm gonna use a weekend banner that's included on the kit. Okay, so my weekend banner is down. I mean, think right off the bat, I'm just gonna decorate for New Year's and New Year's Eve. I'm gonna put this New Year's sticker for New Year's Eve night. Typically on New Year's Eve, we just get like a bunch of food. And I like to go to like the dollar store 
um, and get some, you know, cheap decorations because the kids get a kick out of it. And, um, like, maybe some little special glasses to have, um, like, a special drink out of for them. And then we do kind of, like, ice cream sundaes or find some sort of fun dessert or meal to make with them. And I think I'm going to layer this Happy New Year sticker on a full box. I'm going to use this one for Friday because we'll just be kind of home. Usually I take down our um, Christmas decorations on New Year's Day. When do you guys take your decorations down? You guys like keep them up for a long time. It's just so depressing once you take down the lights and it seems like your house is so dark. Like how did I ever live with my house this dark? I mean you get used to it again, but it's nice having that glow of the Christmas lights. So one thing I want to remember is to go on like maybe Tuesday and pick up some little like you know New Year's hats and decorations for the kids. Um, I just go to the dollar store because I find that we use them one year obviously because usually they have the year on there and then we never use them again. So I don't mind buying the cheapo ones for New Year's. And then Wednesday I'm supposed to hang out with my sister. She's going to come over and hang out with the kids because she's off this week. So I think I'm going to layer... I think I'm going to layer a half box sticker on top of a full box because it's probably, she's going to be here all day so it'll be, most of our afternoon will be spent hanging out with her. And then on Friday I want to spend time taking down our Christmas decorations. So I think I'm going to use this little stocking from my Chrissy Ann Designs binder, binder, which as you guys can tell I'm only using for when I travel. I'm going to burn through these stickers in like a week and I have to buy another binder. And just write in Christmas decor down. And then I think this week we are going to be moving rooms around um, and kind of reassessing our playroom. So a lot of home rearranging, organizing, that kind of stuff's gonna go on. So I'm just gonna indicate it that indicate that at the bottom. I really like that she uses these little half, or like not even half, some of them are like quarter boxes. And you can write on them and layer them on top of washi on the bottom and they are like the perfect size to indicate stuff like this. And then really I think the rest of the week it's just gonna kind of be mainly like decoration. Like I said, we don't have a lot going on, but I do wanna use some of these stickers because they're so cute. I used to be afraid to use full box stickers because I felt like um, I would need that space back, but now I just layer like a half box or two half boxes over them. Um, if I need to write on them and I need like a blank space, like, this can kind of get a little busy, but if you use like a half box, it kind of draws attention to that section right there instead of just being blended in with the decoration on the sticker. Use one more full box to cover up the thankful thought area. I'm going to layer it with this little 2016 sticker. And I'm going to use these little washing machines just to remind myself to still stay on track with my, with my laundry because... Lord knows with five people, no matter what is going on for the week, you have to get your laundry done. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll take over. And this is the week that the cleaning ladies do not come. So typically during the middle of the week, I like to do what I call a quick clean, which is just basically where I go through and quick clean the house. Like just do the hot spots and make sure that it's not getting overrun with dirt and whatever else kids drop. And I usually do that on Wednesdays, and I'll probably do it after my sister leaves. And then on Monday, I kind of want to get our playroom and, and everything, like, just kind of ready to be organized. So I'm going to use these little checkbox stickers. Just write myself a list of things to get done on Monday. I'm 
use my kit to do some check boxes for to do and to call. And I really like that Rory's Sweet Addiction includes so many of the headers. Um, I, mean, I don't use them specifically for the headers inside of my planner, but I do like having that option in case I want to do that. Because I know a lot of sticker kits don't include the full, enough for all of the little header boxes. Alright guys, so that is it for New Year's week for me. Pretty simple week. A couple more stickers than usual, but not as many as Christmas. So I'm sure next week we'll be back to of my normal basic planning since there's no real holiday next week but if you guys have any questions please leave them below otherwise i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching